obviously there's some religious connotations here, but I don't want to get too religious. But I do think that the Trinity has value in the sense that it's also in the, in the idea of government, which is that this idea of checks and balances, that if you just measure one thing, such as power or pace, and there are those who prescribe that, who say, look, all I need to measure is power. If I know my power zones, then I got all I need. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not true because power is the result of, pace is the result of the physiology that you're trying to manipulate with your training. So it is not the cause, it's an effect. I want to also know physiological responses and I want to know perceptual responses because the brain ultimately controls all of this and the brain is the canary in the coal mine, the the perceptions of effort. Those are the first that tend to change when it starts going sideways uh, in the training process. So the trinity for me of monitoring is these three in concert. I want to know the external loads that are being executed, that are being successfully achieved. That is part of the developmental data that I need. But I also, in the day-to-day process, I want to know some physiological responses. Heart rate is kind of our window, our easiest, most accessible window into that physiological machinery. Uh, It's not perfect. It There are caveats, there are issues that you need to be clear about, but it is an important window. And then occasionally we may also use blood lactate. We may occasionally also bring people into the laboratory, although I think you can produce gold medal winners without a laboratory. Uh, Don't get me wrong, we've done it. It's been done by, you know, in many places. But some measurements of physiology are important. And then that perceptual effort, you know, my, if it's my daughter, she just, she just uses her pros in her training diary. She doesn't necessarily use a lot of numbers. I like some numbers, uh, but she is touchy feely based and, and that's fine. She's listening to her body well. And then I try to translate what she says perceptually to some of the physiology and it gives a, a, a checks and balances system that works you know, in in government, it's supposed to be this way too. Unfortunately, it tends to fall apart uh, in in some governments with the wrong leaders. 